Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. Now that we saw that we can reasonably do the very high risk missions, we're going to try and take out the Battle Wagon mission for the Mercenaries Guild and see how exactly that's going to go. We're going to have to escort a Battle Wagon uh, to a base, which is something relatively new that we haven't done before. Lots of asteroid fields here on the way. Perch. Ooh, we found a junk field. There she is. It'll take a minute to get her fired up to fly. These old engines are beat to hell. Awesome. I will salvage in the meantime. We do have some enemy ships here in the distance that are probably going to try and make life interesting. We probably need to take them out, don't we? Alright, Murath Super Darts. Boop. Let's take out the darts. Make them go boom. Like so. Interrupting my salvage operation. How dare you. One more. Which means the big ships will be here before long. Indeed. Let's grab this. Let's grab this last cargo container. That's got him. There we are. Got some additional cargo to sell off. Right, are live. Move into an escort position and let's get out of here. Gotcha. Approach to pair warp. Oh, we're going to have to go in and warp together. That's cool. Oh, I can't move now. Uh oh. Hey! Sorry, this is a new mechanic, guys. I'm trying to figure out what we need to do. Okay, pair the warp. There we go. Warp forcibly disengaged. How? Why? Ah. I see you guys coming. Red Devil Command Ship. Let's say hello. Oh! Badness. Badness has happened on the other... On one side of my ship. But, we did take out the uh, command ship, which is good. Let's grab the scrap. Soy paste and religious tracks. These were spiritual pirates that just tried to kill us. Oh, Flax says no. And we don't have any ordnance. All right, now we can go back into pair warp. Or are we gonna have to take on more? Yep, we're gonna have to take on more. Red Devil Pirate Tears. Well, the good news is this battle wagon has a lot of firepower. And ordinance is full. Alright, cool. Let's pair up again. Oh, just bio waste. Nothing that we really need. And I'm not in control of it right now. It takes over, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm not touching any of this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back into warp. Now I just have to wait to get pulled out by more nastiness. And we'll be good to go. Well, not really be good to go. I actually have some mild damage to the ship. 
I've been told I really need to invest in a repair bot, and I probably will depending on our money situation. I think it was in the 300,000 credit range. I'll have to see, and I cannot answer that distress beacon, unfortunately. <clears throat> I'm just starting to get over this crud. I had the flu two weeks ago, and it was really, really bad. Um, fortunately, I got over it, but I still had all the buildup, if you guys know what I mean. So I've been having to like cough off mic and still get a lot of that stuff out of my system. Demucusing, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Oh, you had to say something, didn't you? Damn, we've been pulled out. Looks like some morass scavengers. Take them out. All right. Morath scavengers. Uh, we got some bombers. Target destroyed. All right, that's one. Now, if it's just fighters, we're in good shape. I'm thinking. Ooh, never mind. There's an iron claw. Let's go finish them off. Protect the battle wagon. Boop. Now, unfortunately, this is the bad side. This is not the side we need to be broadsiding with, but it's all right. Die, little piggies. You're almost down. Let's rough them up. Nuts and bolts. And more nuts and bolts, I think. Yep. Every little bit helps. And we've gone back into warp pairing. Waiting for the battle wagon to get into position. Apparently. Ooh, <laughs> that hook of you? Why? That was weird. See, the autopilot, stuff like that concerns me, like when I read about the Tesla auto-driving car, and I've been watching videos on it. I have no doubt that that's going to be the wave of the future. It's going to be like, right out of iRobot, but that's still going to be very strange. Oh, more badness? Leech rocket platform. Holy crap. Well, let's uh, just deal. All right. Save at last. Let's do this again sometime. You're a hell of a pilot. Oh. Remember what I said about the guild. Nice. There were just things here that needed dealt with. Well, let's take out this charge battery, and we'll be... Oh no, we're attacking the base! Holy crap! Alright. Well then, where are we? Oh, we're at a Red Devil outpost. I'm gonna actually try and dock with this thing. Which is probably not my... my smartest call, but I really want to see docking prohibited. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we did what we needed, we came here for. Um, where do we got go from here, though? There's a nearby station, like, a hiccup away. Come on, Sparrow. Our talents are obviously not appreciated here. That's better. Heavy militia... F no? As we ram into the front of your ship. <laughs> I haven't been drinking, officer, I swear. 660 credits, not bad. Now we got 232,000. Let's, uh... Look at the equipment bay. And we have room for two subsystems. Yeah, 304,500 credits for the repair bot. That is definitely something I want to uh, invest in. So, let's go ahead and sell off our stuff here. 
And everything here is pretty lousy in terms of system average prices. Well, except for the Obtanium. Yik Yak Mead isn't that bad. Eh, we'll sell the Data Cubes and the Nuts and Bolts. Just get everything out of there. And fortunately, that got us some more faction with the Mercenaries Guild. So, let's see... Does that tell us what we are? Ah, oh, we're ranked 2 in the Mercenaries Guild. Excellent. We can afford to be a little bit higher, though. So, let's go ahead... Well... I do want to do more stuff for the Mercenaries Guild, but now that I know that we can handle ourselves... Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and take on another one of the, uh... ID chip checkpoints and see if we can grab what we need to. Engines at maximum. From the Lightbringers or whatever their names were. Exiting Where was my... Oh, there's my checkpoint. It went gray. That was weird. Collision warning. Oh, that one means it's clear. I see. Stellar map. Cool. That's good to know. Alright, that's the one I want to go to. And they're all pretty close. We got 5,000... 4,000. This is the one we needed. Onward! So, I'm gonna jump over here. We're gonna see what we have to deal with. Hopefully we won't have, like, two missions in one this time around. With more enemy ships than is reasonable. And let's just hope for the best, shall we? Hope at times isn't a good thing, believe it or not. I think Bane said it best in The Dark Knight Rises. And that's where I learned you could not have despair without hope. Perch! Lightborn Bombers and Lightborn Judge. Oh. Okay, lots of flak. Alright, so, this was a bad call. Yep, 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 we're not ready for this. Let's flee. This is what deflectors are for. Woo! Holy crap. Well, that's an interesting... Hmm. Yeah, there's still a lot of fighters and whatnot. So, not just yet. Maybe what happened the last time that uh, we tried this? Maybe the added mobs were fighting against the uh, Lightbringers? What were those things called, anyway? Lightborn, wasn't it? Yeah, I think they were called Lightborn. So, let's go repair the ship. Um, we need to do some more missions for the Mercenaries Guild. So I'm gonna alter our path here in warp. And we're gonna go repair the ship over here and do some missions. So I'll see you guys there. So that was a very expensive little uh, trip for almost 3,000 credits. Repairs complete. Oi. Well, let's look at the mission board here. Corian Outlaws. And that doesn't require a jump, so we'll take that for 24,000 credits. And this one does require a jump into the walled system. Contract specifies that all support crafter to be eliminated as well for 40,000 credits. Now, the good news is, I think that'll actually put us to where we need, where we need to get the repair bot. Or to upgrade our defensive, system, defensive systems. I'm not sure which exactly we need to be focusing on first. But we'll do the one in system first. Which is way over here. And then we can do the jump mission on the way back. That works. 
It's going to be a, a bit of a long trek. Now, the good news, if I upgrade a lot of my weapons and just get a lot of this stuff done that I, quite frankly, need to get done, that's going to make the game a lot easier in the long run, I'm thinking. Prior prevention prevents piss-poor performance, as my dad would say. Dole. Oh, hell's bells. Okay, Corians versus pirates. Let's just fly through here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need an adult! <laughs> I'll leave you two guys doing what you're doing. And looking at that now, I can almost guarantee that's what happened earlier with the first time that we did the uh, data chip ID quest, is that the Corians that were there for the Bounty Hunter quest were actually fighting the Lightborn. So that makes a lot of sense. So while I thought that hindered us, that actually helped us a great deal. Whoa! Well, just discovered a yet another asteroid belt. Let's get out of here again. And since this is a very long trek, guys, I will... Well, inner warp first and foremost. And we'll see you when we get close to the Corian Outlaws. Okay, incoming badness. Perch! Ooh, assault frigate. That's never a good sign. Yep, yep, yep. This. It's alright, we're already cutting through the uh, Assault Frigate. Slicey, slicey. We take up the big ships, we're in good shape. We're golden. Indeed. Alright, that's one. We'll grab Salvage a little bit later. We got bigger fish to fry here. Yeah, the flak isn't bad. You just have to you just have to time it correctly is all. Yeah, let's go ahead and focus on this torpedo scow. The less missiles we deal with the better, I'm thinking. Yep, yep, yep. I know. This is going to be Woo! Did we have more badness come in? Oh! Yep, yes we did. Holy crap, this is bad. Very bad. Alright. We're running. I need to go ahead and spend some of this money. We'll grab mun munitions on the way out. Alpha turrets are critically damaged. Well, this is unfortunate. Oh, did you get one? I think I'll go ahead and let Sparrow do all the work. Oh! Should we? I think that'd be actually be funny. If she's taking out all the fighters for me... Like... How many bogeys do we got here? Incoming hail. Okay. Hold up. We had a... We had a hail. Well, well, what do we have here? A fine prize indeed. Yeah. Okay, same old, same old. I do not want to take... We got a lot of green. Green beams firing at us. So, I have decided after this that the first thing we're going to do is upgrade our defensive systems. And we are about to do that, like, right now. We'll head to the waypoint, repair the ship, 
and see what exactly they have to offer here. I know the Mercenaries Guild has a few upgrades that are unique, but... Let's go ahead and dock. The Tigress is tired of having her fur ruffled. Repairs complete. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the equipment bay. Mark three ceramic hull plating. We will grab that. Shield. Mark three shields. And deflector, we can get our Mark III deflector, or we can get the one... How much was it to get the one that we could actually, like, ramp people? Hmm. Let's check... Ow! I need your license, I need your insurance card. Yeah, yeah, you do the same. <laughs> Well, let's head back to the Mercenary Guild station because I want to look at those ramming shields because it seems that as much um, time, as many times as we ac accidentally hit things and get hit, this will probably be a really good investment to have. Or we could save our money and just get the regular three shields. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and head that direction first, and not toward the uh, ID chip quest. There we go. And we'll see what we can do from there. So, from what I'm seeing here with the Mark III ramming deflector, it definitely does damage and has almost almost five or is it 400? Yeah, it's a little over 400 more damage capacity to absorb damage than the uh, Mark III deflector. However, if you look at the drain time and the recharge time, the Mark III deflector is far superior. And I'm going more for defense and offense here, so I'm going to go ahead and buy the Mark III deflector. Wait a minute. Does it say we already have one of these? We have surplus. Oh, holy crap, we have one in the hold. I did not know this. Okay. I, yes, let us install the component. Holy crap, we just saved some coin. Or did we already buy it? I don't remember. But we have 56,292 credits left, and we are now Mark three on all of our defense, which is very, very good. Very good indeed. Let's sell the Mark II for 78000 And I guess now we start the long, arduous task of upgrading our weapon systems. Because we know how valuable the lasers are. At least we know that our, our weapons can do damage to the ships in the system right now. That's, that's, probably, that's probably some of our best info. But what do you have? The antimatter probe, the particle laser... Slices through armor, but is much less effective against shields. Yeah, not exactly what we're needing. Alright, well... I am... More or less... I'm, I'm appeased with our mining lasers. Pricey, but effective. And the Mark III Photon Cannon, we could actually buy right now. But the lasers are our main offensive capability. So we're just going to keep saving up until we can um, upgrade our turrets. Now in terms of everything else, plasma, all these guys are offering is uh, Mark II. I also need to uh, pump up the turrets maybe with an accelerator? Or that's projectile speed. There's something that we can do to really um, make the turrets nastier. But anyway, now that we are more defensively minded, let's check the mission board one more time. Check that out. Now a lot of the stuff is orange. That was was red. So let's go ahead and give 
Should we go ahead and give that job one more try? Or sh let's go for the bounty. I think the bounty will probably... It's a little bit closer. So we'll jump to the walled system. And I'll let you guys know when we're getting close. So we're here in the walled system. I made the jump. Um, the primary mission was about 4,000 space meters away. Or space miles or whatever. So... Ooh. So we nearly ram into some Marath miners there. So let's see what's going on here in this asteroid field. Oh, it's a junk pile. Let's rough them up. Pulse. Okay, lots of fighters. That's good. Sparrow can cut these guys up. While our lasers do their work. Yeah, I'm not nearly as worried as I was before. Let's work on the Corian gunship here. Seems to be the the heavy. Dead and gold. Excellent. Enemy craft inbound. Threat level yellow. So I guess that was that was wave one. What do we got incoming? Detected hostiles incoming? Ooh! And missiles. More gunships. And almost got that gunship in one salvo. Let's go ahead and finish her off. Excellent. Keep the hate going. Boop. And one more red dot to go. This is much, much better. What I said before about needing um, offense over defense, I lied. That was a horrible, horrible lie. We got an incoming hail? What we got? A fine prize indeed. Uh, you know what? You tangled with the wrong ship, and it isn't going to go well for you. Enough of this. Oh, he has a gold tooth. That was kind of that's kind of cool to see. Ah, there's our target. Let us go pay the respects. And you are not long for this earth, my friend, or this galaxy. Boop. Ooh, Narco Cola. Let us procure that. What other nice contraband did we have here? Eh, bio waste. Well, it's a living. So, I would say that this was a very, very good investment to get all of our gear up to Mark III, or at least our defensive abilities. And if we keep on doing jobs like that, paying 40000 and some odd, we should be able to get turrets here relatively quickly. So I don't know if I'm going to run some missions um, off camera or not, guys. I mean, I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you guys are too. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. If, it, if I think we need to just keep on doing this, we'll just keep on just running quests or running uh, money-making missions. But if you like the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.